Welcome back to a new episode of Command Center. I'm your host, Seth Senpai, co-host, Hado Ken. What's happening, everybody? You know what we like to do. We like to talk about EDH. That's right, eating delicious hot pockets. Uh, yeah, or Elder Dragon Highlander. All right, so first of all, I just wanna say thank you for everyone who's recently subscribed. Uh, please tell people about us. We have some, uh, speaking of Hot Pockets, delicious content coming up soon. Well, that's the, that's, <laughs> I'm gonna take that, that's a bit of a lie. Hot, hot Pockets taste like butt, but we ain't gonna even go there. All right, Hot Pockets, all right, they don't taste the greatest, but when you're desperate. So we've been showing a lot of hardcore commanders. So what you got for them today? I think, you know what? It's, there's no other way to put this. Petty, petty. If you've seen our commandments episode, uh, pettiness is encouraged and it is allowed. Pettiness is the breath of magic. It's, you do something to me, I for sure gonna do something to you. And it's gonna hurt twice as much. That's, that's right. That's the beauty of this game. Right. As a matter of fact, if I'm, in a, if I'm in a pod and somebody ain't being petty, I look at them weird. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what are your motives? What you sitting on? What's in the box? Sometimes you just gotta get the petty train going, man. All right. So who, so who we got on the docket? We have Commander Petty, the Petty Dragon, herself, Okagachi, Vengeful Kami. Now, if you've never played against this uh, Commander before, uh, two things you need to know about him. One, he's a dragon, and two, kick the blade on you because you might need to cut the guy who plays him. <laughs> All right, so Okagachi is actually an Odi. It comes from the plane of Kamigawa. First time that it's ever been featured as a creature card. And we know what? Kamigawa's coming out, has come out with some of the grimiest of the grimy stuff. So you know, if it came out of Kamigawa, watch yourself. That's right. So what does he do? So, Commander Petty, Ubor. That's the, that's the casting cost with an extra one. Okay, so you, don't, you don't know what Ubor is? It's the rainbow effect plus one. That's right. Uh, Dragon Spirit, 6-6, six, six, Flying and Trample. The most important part of Okagachi says, whenever Okagachi deals combat damage to a player, if that player attacked you during their last turn, exile target non-land permanent that player controls. You don't understand what he just said. This is the drive-by commander. Let me explain that. You just hit one of his people, best believe he coming for something of yours. That's right. So, you know, you, you, you attack me, you didn't even have to do damage. You just, you, you look my direction. You turned your creature sideways. And you know what happens? If his dragon hits you, one point of damage, don't matter. Oh, that's a nice enchantment you got there. Say bye-bye to it. Oh, that creature you just cast, huh, wipe your butt with it. Cool, that looks like an artifact. It looks like this art of gone. I love that it exiles and not destroys. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's just jump into it. What's I'm gonna break down some of the the specialness in this in this package here. Okay. All right. So first, we're gonna talk about some creatures that are near and dear to Okagachi. All right. First up, Saskia the Yielding. You may remember this creature from the uh, Commander Commander set where we got the four color commanders. You don't understand. You know, let me explain what Saskia is. On the streets, we call him "Bring That Behind Here Boy." <laughs> he he. <laughs> He points to you like he does, like he's from the WCW and tells you to bring it. That's who Sasuke is. Tell him what Sasuke does. When Sasuke enters the battlefield, choose a player. He chooses. He doesn't target. He says, I want you, March. I want you. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to that player, it deals double. All right. Disgusting. That's he doesn't even have to hit you. He can hit the guy. You know what that? You know how that feels if I go run to the nearest Starbucks and I punch somebody in the mouth and you feel the effect. That's what he does. <laughs> All right. Next up is Fumiko the Low Blood. Oh my God. Basically, what, what set does she come from? She comes from, I think, originally the Kamigawa set. What I tell you about Kamigawa? <laughs> I just warned y'all about Kamigawa. What does she do? She's when she's out here, she basically says creatures your opponent controls have to attack. They don't have to attack you, but they have to attack. So I actually encourage attacking me. Come on, let's go. Let's bring it. Let me explain this. So you know those creatures you like to hold behind that give you like special protection effect mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Oh, I don't have to attack with it. She says you do. So that one one you've been tucking back there because he gives you extra buff or haste, he gonna have to come see about me. Or somebody else. But please see about it. <coughs> Here's the thing about Okagachi. I want you to attack me. And you'll find out why uh, pretty soon. 
Next up, Aurelia the War Leader. This basically says if uh, Aurelia attacks, you get two combat phases. Now, I have had to set bell money aside for only three cards. And Aurelia is one of them. Because <laughs> when this heifer comes to the battlefield and she attacks, she instantly gives you another combat step. And, and that is just rude. And you know what happens when Okagachi's on the field and a player has attacked me last turn. Did you just attack me? Not only <laughs> am I going to remove something on the first combat step. Move something on the second. I'm going to do it again. That's right. It's the double mid twin of stupidity. What yeah. else you got? Butcher of Malakir, oh, Vampire. God. All right, I only have this card in here because if, for instance, if you want to get rid of one of my creatures, not through combat, you got to get rid of one of yours as well. So Butcher says basically, you know what? Uh, if you can dish it, you can take it. It's Dictate of Erebos. And Grave Pack. On, and Grave Pack on a creature that can bust you upside the head for five. This is just silly. That's right. What else you got? Next up, last creature I really want to talk about is Regal Behemoth. Why Regal Behemoth? I don't even it's, know what that is. It's all in the name. It's, it's just beautiful, man. It just, it just sounds big. It sounds like when it craps, it lands on trees. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> so Regal Behemoth introduces a mechanic that we love to call Monarch into the game. So if I feel like players just aren't attacking me, aren't hitting me, you know what? Let's bring out the Monarch. Let's, let's introduce it. You know what? If you want the Monarch, come and see about me. Do you know how silly this is? If you don't know what the Monarch it says, it says as long as he's the Monarch, he gets to draw a card. It's card draw advantage. So you have to bust him upside the head in order to get it back. <laughs> this is the rudest. It, it, it makes you attack against your will. As well as Fumiko. What else um, you got? But also with Rico Behemoth, the important part is as long as you're the monarch, you also get double the mana. Dude, this don't make no sense. You tell me, we it's called Mirari Wake you? Yeah. We got Mirari Wake. On a creature. On a creature. Yeah. That's a dinosaur. Yeah. That is a dinosaur. That is true. And it hits you and gives you mana. This is disgusting. I don't want no part of this sandwich. What else do you got on this? All right, I think it's time we jump into a couple of enchantments. Uh, that I love to tell, that I just want to bring in here. So this is a coming out of left field. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, Curse of Verbosity. Okay. Now this is the uh, this comes from a set of curses that the dude is just the planeswalker guy is just like enjoying life or running for his life or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one specifically says when uh, you enchant a player, of course, because it's a curse, and when an enchanted player is attacked, draw a card. Each opponent attacking that player does the same. So you put this on course on some standby victory of yours, don't you? No. See, this is the one curse that I actually play on myself. This man is cursing himself out. That's right. This is disgusting. That's right. This is the rudest sandwich I've ever had to eat. Why would you do that to yourself? Because if you attack me, guess who else gets to draw a card? Me. And he's making you attack him. This is disgusting. Disgusting man. What else you what else is in this stupid deck? <laughs> I wouldn't call it stupid just yet. Alright, so thematic compass. Not only does it uh get you land, one of these new cards from Ixalan set, but uh you know when you have <coughs> seven or more lands, it flips. It turns into a land, but not just any other land. It turns into a maze of if, Basically. but on crack. Hold up, let me explain. I know Maze of Ifs are expensive. It is. It, it is. is. It's very, I get that expensive. But with this card in play, you take your copy of Maze of Ifs, you kindly go to your nearest bathroom, and you wipe your behind with it. Because this card is leaps and bounds over Maze of Ifs. Why is it above Maze of Ifs? Not only does it fetch you lands, it fixes your mana. Mm -hmm. When it turns over, it can tap for color. Say nobody want to attack me. Oh, I got free colors mana sitting on my plate. Mm -mm -mm. It's it's the frosting on the cake on the forget you cake. That's right. So I will actually I, I'll agree with you. It taps for mana, effectively making it better than Maze of <coughs> Uh Next up, so last enchantment I kind of want to talk about is similar to Karmic Justice. You can throw it in here if you want to, but Martyr's Bond is just a little bit better. You want to tell you something about this card? I know nothing about this card. What does it do? Martyr's Bond basically says that whenever it or another non-land permanent you control is put into the graveyard uh -huh. from the battlefield, mm -hmm. each opponent sacrifices a permanent of the same type. So if one of my creatures go, one of yours has to go. One of my enchantments go, one of yours go. What is this? This is that kindergarten stuff. <laughs> Wait, if I lose, you lose? Yeah. All right, uh, we, we, we can wrap this out a little bit. I'm sure you want to see a little bit more about 
why I want you to attack me. I've seen the meat, I've seen the potatoes, but where's the lettuce, the mustard, yeah. and the mayo? What else is on this sandwich? All right, combat control. Two cards I want to talk about. First one is Illusionist Gambit. The second one is Master of Warcraft. You want to tell you something about these cards? I've never heard of them either. What they do? <laughs> Illusionist Gambit, basically, both these cards basically say you control combat. Okay. Um, I don't want to go through the entire text of that, but basically uh, with the Illusionist Gambit, if they attack you, you can say, uh-uh-uh, we're going to do this over, and you're going to attack somebody else that's not me. Are you kidding me? But guess what happens, though? What? They attacked me last turn. The Okagachi is on the field. This, this is dumb. You don't even take the combat damage. This is dumb. And you can just say, hey, by the way, yo, go, go, go hit your homeboy next to you right quick. <laughs> I know he had two life. I know you try to save him because he wasn't drawing land. But you know what? Hit him anyway. And you still get the combat trigger. This is when the knife is put on the table because somebody is about to get got. What else you got? All right. Quickly in Masters Warcraft. Uh, this is before attackers are declared. You just say, hey, you know what? Um, it's your turn, but I'm going to make your creatures attack this turn. I can send one my way <coughs> and send the others another way. But, hey, guess what? You still attacked me last turn. You get to control combat. I'm sorry. I thought I was able to play a free game of my old militia. I'm sorry. But, but, but you, I thought this was America. I'm sorry. But now you're piling in my decks now. This is this is the reason why the knife is currently on the table. It doesn't get any ruder. And uh, recently I read an article from one of our friends, Eric Tiernan. Uh, he, he writes with Star City Games sometimes. Um, but he had an article about judo uh, effects in games. I think this classifies as that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I think we're doing judo here. I'm telling you, because you, you don't know if I'm going to cut you. You don't know if I'm going to punch you in the face. You don't know if I'm going to take you outside and beat you. That's why it's called a judo car, because it makes it causes violence. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We're going to round this out with the last few combat tricks that I have up my sleeve. There's more to this. There's more to this. Jesus. So this is a very instant intensive game. Okay. Uh, in a sense that you don't know what's in my hand, but if, you, if you're going to attack me, you're going to probably feel sorry about it. So that putting that you feel in your draws when you play against this card, that's boo-boo, babe. <laughs> All right. Uh, no need for introduction. I'm sure you guys have heard of Deflecting Palm. All right. There's a couple of friends I want to bring along with Defle Deflecting Palm. Um, we, have, we have Come Uppets. We have Aetherize. Pay no heed. Just look at these cards. Just look at them. Hold up one second. Let me explain something right here. He mentioned a card in the beginning called Deflecting Pond. Palm. This is the Pat Marina of cards. And if you don't know who Pat Marina is, first of all, go find a corner and stand in it. Because if you don't know the Karate Kid, you should be ashamed of yourself. Pat Marina talk karate, and that's what Deflecting Palm does. It teaches you how to wax on and wax off your enemy. This card is ridiculous. The most important part about Deflecting Palm, you're not targeting anything. You're just choosing a source. Hold on, hold on. Let me set it up for you. I got a creature on the board. Mm -hmm. He got 20 power. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing. Okay. You know what? You eat that. Yep. All you, you have that sandwich. Hold the pickles. You know what? I'm generous. You can have the pickles too. <laughs> yeah, they, like I said, the important part is that you choose a source. It goes back to that, uh, that creature's controller and you take no damage. Um, pretty much the same thing with Come Up It's. All right, last two cards I want to bring up. Um, these are actually from the Kamigawa set. What, I, what did I just say about Kam Kamigawa is going to get somebody stabbed in the alley? What are you bringing for Kamigawa? Uh, for just two mana, Curtain of Light. Target attacking unblocked creature just becomes blocked. And, you, and the added bonus, you can draw a card. You don't even. You don't even got to sack. You don't even got to put a creature up for this. It's just automatically blocked. It does no damage. Yeah. This is dumb. And you get the draw card. <clears throat> this is dumb. I told you what I tell you about Kamigawa. <clears throat> Kamigawa was the demon set. And right now, we need Jeebus because that is the only thing that can protect us from this set. It's dumb. Seaborn Muse came from this. No, she didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Last card from Gamagawa, Reciprocate. Now, every so often, I might be generous. I might let you hit me. Now, Reciprocate sounds like a good thing. You know, you give me something, I'm going to give you something. But here's what I'm giving you, though. If you, if, you, <coughs> if you actually attack me and hit me with your creature, I get to remove that creature from the game. Do me a favor, pick that card up. 
Uh -huh. Hold it in front of you. Uh -huh. Rip it up. Because right now, it's, all it is is confetti, baby. Ugh. <laughs> make, make it rain. Ugh. So that's, that's all the cards I just want to introduce today about um, Commander Petty. I know that was a bit much, but it, it's just so many cards that you can uh, put into this deck, change them out for others. It's, it's so much. So I hope you got the flavor that is Commander Petty. And I hope your rage meter is just as high as mine. Because I played against this deck before. And you know what? Bun. Two times. All day. I'll go to jail over this card. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, this is, like I said, this is this card just embodies pettiness. I don't know if I've ever seen another creature more petty than Okagachi. Uh, so it will always be... Commander Petty, the Petty Dragon to me. And remember, if you're playing Magic out there, let the Petty shine through. Yeah. If there's Petty in your heart, let it shine out. Share the Petty, because you know what? It brings on revenge. It brings on the anger. It's an outlet for you, and you want everybody to feel it. And I will say this. Keep the Petty that's in the game. It's just a game. Uh, don't let it carry over to outside the game. This is your chance to shine, your chance to be Petty, and just let it stay there. Because I'm telling you something, man, bond money ain't cheap. I'm just gonna put it like that. And I've been bugging out like five times now. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us for Command Center. If you, of course you want a deck tech for this, where do they go to? Hey, just let them know in the comments and we'll get that out to you in the future. Uh, we want us, we gotta see those comments though. Uh, let us know if you've played against Okagachi, if you played with it. Let, let me know if you put it to the side when he opened up that dragon uh, commander set and he was like, nah, I don't wanna play with this one. So. I, I think you should actually, you know, slide Ur Dragon to the side. Maybe you can put it in here. But Okagachi is, is that dude. And let us know if you got also got a pending court case because you had to come across the table on somebody who played Okagachi. I might know a lawyer. <laughs> might not. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us for Command Center. Like and subscribe. Please hit that bell. And um, until next time. Thank you.